All right, I got three games here. I'm gonna show you guys three levels of cleaning, depending on what it is that we're gonna do. So I have, in no particular order, I'm still figuring out these new lights, bear with me. In no particular order, I have Demon's Souls on the PlayStation 3. This one is gonna be our old game that's been on the show for a little while, probably needs a little bit of cleaning up, needs a little bit of help. We have Bloodborne, one that's been cleaned fairly regularly and often, but could probably just use a little tidying up, a little, a little buffing, a little gussing, that kind of thing. And then we have Demon Souls. I actually just got this from the store not too long ago. It was traded in, and I'm going to show you what I do as a germaphobe and video game cleaner, how I handle situations like this. So let's do it. All right. First and foremost, we're going to go with the older game, the one that's been sitting on the shelf for a little bit. This is something that I do where if I'm looking at it, I'm realizing it's looking a little dingy, a little faded. I will pop out the cover art. I will get paper towel, whatever all-purpose cleaner you prefer. Make sure that the paper towel is not sopping wet. And then go over and just give the surface a quick wipe down. If you're more worried about the aesthetic shine of the entire case, you can always do a silica gel. You can do an armor all. Got videos on that as well. Just do a nice wipe down. The interesting thing is when you do that wipe down, you're going to run across maybe some dirt here and there that you didn't know was originally there. I do this a lot, and a lot of times I run across, oh, old residues or something that just came back over time. Weird, right? Who knew? Microfiber cloth to dry it off. You're good to go. Same thing. Check the disc. Probably has fingerprints. Nope, looks pretty good. Make sure that it's completely dry. So I go along the sides, make sure it's all nice and dry. Add back the cover art. This one's pretty straightforward. Good to go back on the shelf. Check it out. As we're looking at this, it looks a little hazy. It looks a little foggy. It's like it's seen some things before. Well, that's kind of how it's supposed to, realistically. It's going to have a little bit of age to it. It's going to have a little bit of, I don't know, age to it. That's how it's going to look with this plastic. This is a, if I remember my science, polyethylene on the surface. So over time, it's going to look a little bit more shadowy, just the way that it goes. Can you clean this up? Yes. Are all cases going to do this over time? Also, yes. So is it really something you have to worry about? I don't know. Up to you. That's for Demon Souls. This is for a game that's been on the case, on the shelf for a little while in the case and everything. You kind of want to clean it up a little bit, make it look nicer. That's what I do pretty regularly. I'll take them out, wipe them down. I don't know, every six months, I'll wipe down each one, inspect them, just make sure that there's not anything going on, anything weird happening to the game itself. I'll do this with all of my games. I'll go through and I'll check. It's super easy for a lot of these. So you take the game, you open it up, you open it a little wider than you should, and you look at that inside portion right there. You will notice right away, if it's not colored, you'll notice right away if you have any mold or mildew issues, that kind of thing. Something good to check out every once in a while. Same thing on the paper. If it's starting to curl up, if it's starting to do anything weird that you notice, you go, oh, that looks kind of weird. I should probably check that out. Might mean some mold issues, might mean some issues you got to look into. Might not, just depends on what it is. Same thing with the disc. You always want to check the disc. Make sure the disc is looking good. It's not doing anything. It's not getting any random holes or anything. Probably won't on a PlayStation 3 disc. Always good to check. Cool? Great. Second one. Oh, Bloodborne. You can tell we're doing a bunch of Souls games. Bloodborne for the PlayStation 4. It's the same idea where it's been sitting on the shelf for a bit. It doesn't necessarily need to be completely wiped off because this one's been cleaned fairly regularly. So same thing with this one. You go through, you look it over, you open it up. Oh, remember when that was going to get a sequel? Me too. You check the inner spine to make sure you're not getting any mold or anything. Well, that game got like four sequels. That game got no sequels. So we're going to put it like that. Pop your disc out. Make sure your disc looks good. Check that out however you need to. This one looks great. If I'm going through and I'm checking last gen, I'll just go through give everything a wipe. Microfiber cloth, nothing on it. Wipe it down, go all over the surface. Same thing for if you've cleaned any games recently and if you've had a game since launch. 
I'm gonna go through and just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. This is gonna do two things. One, it's gonna remove any fingerprint oils that, finger oils, well, fingerprint oils, that you might have floating around. And two, it's just gonna make sure that you're checking the discs, checking everything, making sure you don't have any weird spots, stains, anything else that's starting. Check the disc, make sure it looks good. If you have any fingerprints or anything you wanna get rid of, we'll have a separate video reviewing how to do that. Once that's all wiped down all nice and good, pop that back in the case, close it up. That's about all you have to do. So most of the time when I'm cleaning, obviously wearing gloves. If I'm playing games, I'm not wearing gloves, but I'm also always have a couple of cloths around so that I can wipe down the cases and wipe down the discs and things that I touch normally. Controllers, same thing. You don't have to do that. It's not necessary, but I'm weird like that. And speaking of weird like that, Demon Souls. Demon's Souls. Oh, it is possessive. Well, yeah, they learned something today. Demon Souls. Got this from a game store. The people that um, sold it to me said that the guy that traded it in traded in basically all of the RPGs for the PlayStation 5. This one was one of them. I begged and pleaded them to not put stickers on it. They still put stickers on it. Their stickers, but their stickers came off very easily. The stickers went on uh, like two days ago. They came off super easily. Yeah, I just, I pulled them off. I have a little tool that I carry around. I will show you. Is this little guy. Okay, this is a lottery ticket scraper. Don't ask me why. This thing does wonders for pulling off stickers. Do the same thing. Put a card underneath it. That on top of it. Even if it's a new sticker, totally fine. It'll totally come off. I was literally standing in the store and showed him how to take off the stickers. Because, you know, germaphobe. And also stickerphobe. And also all of that. So, I'm going to show you what I do when I get a new game. Newer game. Or any used game. If I get it in and it's just... I just... I'm a germaphobe. That's actually why I got into a lot of this. When I was working at GameStop, one of the things I was doing was cleaning up games for everyone. If they brought in a game, they said, oh, I want to trade this in, and it was in good condition, I would try to clean it up to the best of my ability because I would turn it around and sell it to someone else. So handing off a game to someone that I took in, if it was filthy, it kind of made me feel really weird. I'm very much a germaphobe. I clean and sanitize. I have UV cleaners that I have in my room that I use for phones, keys, all kinds of stuff, um, constantly with the hand wipes and everything. I don't know. I'm just a germaphobe. That's the way it goes. Probably from my parents. Let me show you what we do to clean up a game if I get it in used and I go, oh, I didn't get it brand new and I didn't take it out of the plastic and it's going to weird me out. Same idea as before. Pop it open. Why do they even... Anyway, pop it open. Let's check the disc. Spotless. Beautiful. Take out the cover art. Again, spotless. Beautiful. Everything looks great. This, I mean, this though, like, I tell ya. It's gonna get to the point where... I'm just curious, I wanna look at something. Oh, well, it's not the same. Um, it's gonna get to the point where you won't be able to tell if you have mold issues because you can't see it on the, on the center cover. The disc is really clean. The disc is super, super clean. Um, and it's funny because they were telling me, they were like, oh, this disc is really clean. You won't have to do anything to it. As like it was a sales pitch to me. That's so what I do for the case. And then I'll do a similar thing for the disc. We'll do the case first, disinfecting wipes. Take the disinfecting wipe and apply liberally to the surface, okay? Both sides, front, back, the center, where you put your little grubby mitts in there, the edge, the top, the bottom. I go in here and we wipe this down and this, where you put your little, little booger hooks, wherever you want to call them in there. Look at that stout. I mean, I know that that's for reinforcement, this plastic tab, but it, it so much looks like it's supposed to have a book that's that thick. It's not. It's for reinforcement. That's why you have those tabs over there. Get it all completely covered and coated. And then check it out. I've said this in a couple videos before, but if you read the instructions to clean and deodorize, wipe with the surface and let it air dry. To clean and disinfect, wipe with the surface until visibly wet. Let it sit for four minutes 
and let it air dry. To sanitize, wipe with enough to allow the treated surface to remain wet for 15 seconds for some fancy word. A lot of really fancy long words. I don't know biology words. I know chemistry words. This is not a baby wipe. Do not flush. You have to let them sit. So we're going to let this sit for a second and let it just do its thing. And then we're going to go back and we're going to remove the cleaner from that. What we're also going to do is we're going to clean off the disc. But we have to be very careful because what we're using is a liquid, okay? And we don't want it to get into the center ring. Remember, remember the GameCube? Okay. So you just go real lightly in the center and I'm going to show you the trick that I do. Go real lightly in the center and then just kind of spread it out with your finger. Again, probably want to wear gloves for this kind of a thing. And around the center ring, just like that. And then we're going to hang out. Okay. Get your paper towel ready. That's 15 seconds. Wipe it down. Okay. Now, what I do, and this is where it gets a little crazy. You don't have to do this, but I will get my finger covered in sanitizer, and I'll do the center. Just real light, low itty bit, and then you can see nothing gets in the center ring. There's some weird bubbling from the actual pressing, but there's nothing on the center ring itself. They actually did a really good job with the pressing of this. Then, last but not least, I do the edges. This is where you have to go really quick. We're going to wipe along the edge. We're going to try to not get it on the data side. Let that sit for a second. And go back in with a paper towel, making sure that you're not going along the data side, just along the edge to dry it off. Just like that. Your disc should be... Super clean. I'm looking just to make sure the disc is super clean. Still no worries there. Make sure it's completely, completely dry. Sorry, I keep looking. My camera's weird because my lights are weird, so I keep looking at things in a weird way. By now, this should be pretty good. So just check it out, inspect it. Same thing. Microfiber cloth. Go over all the surfaces. And then you're going to look at this and you're going to go, well, I got some, I got some staining. I got some, yeah, you probably will. So we go in here, take our all purpose cleaner. You can also use, um, you can use water for it, but water is going to make it weird because depending on your water and depending on how you wipe it off, it might end up smudging a little bit more. Basically you want to do something that's going to dry a little faster than water where you can get rid of any of the staining that comes from the sanitized wipe. Same thing on this. There's a video I did, I don't know if it's up or not, but you see me spraying directly onto the case. Um, I'll do that with PlayStation 2 cases. So that generation, I'll spray directly onto the case. As long as it's stripped completely, I'll spray directly onto the case because I know you know, that those, the plastic itself can dry and it's still going to be hazy no matter what. With these, I still want it to be a little more clear, so I'm going to use the paper towel directly onto it. You can use microfiber cloths for those things if you want to. I try to use a microfiber cloth for finishing and I don't try to use it too much for just the regular cleaning because it's going to use up a lot of paper towels. I already use up a lot of paper towels and I don't like it. So you check it out. What's interesting is that this case, I don't think it was a recase. And, and to be perfectly honest, I just got a PlayStation 5. So I'm getting into learning PlayStation 5 cases. But actually, I got kind of curious, so I went and grabbed two Brand new, pulled out of the wrapper PlayStation 5 games. Hmm. Bring the light 
in a little bit. That still looks lighter. Interesting. Interesting. Let's see if it still looks lighter with the cover art. Probably the cover art was what was throwing it off. Yeah. Yeah, you'd think they'd do different cases, but it makes sense that they wouldn't. So, there you go. That's how I clean up. We can find the disc. <laughs> That's how I clean up three levels of just quickly cleaning up games. Um, I think I started to talk about this on, uh, I think the hit save discord was actually where we were talking about this, how we were wiping this down. But yeah, that's basically how you wipe down the three different levels of discs, depending on how they've been there. Um, Demon souls in, Probably about another six months will get taken out. It'll get wiped down with a microfiber cloth. I clean these regularly and then I clean them without any kind of a fabric softener or anything just to make sure that there's not any weird oils, fragrances, or whatever. Um, so Bloodborne will get wiped down. Demon Souls will get wiped down. That Demon Souls will get wiped down. But I'll probably go through and do the rest of my PlayStation 3 games. I'll go through and use an all-purpose cleaner on all of them. Strip them of the cover art. Wipe them down with the all-purpose cleaner and see what's going on with them. I'm starting to see more weird residue on it, too. That's weird. Um, that's basically it. If they come straight out of the plastic, I'm not going to do the sanitizing of the case and everything. But if they do come from a used game store or something, I will always sanitize the case and the disc itself just because I'm a germaphobe. And that's how that works. So there you go. That's how you clean three different kinds of discs. That's how I clean them, at least. Um, it, it's all super fast. It's all super quick. And then you just go back through and you wipe them down. A key to remember when you have them on your shelf, if you have a good amount of shelf height, is you're going to get a ton of dust and cat hairs. You're going to get a ton of dust on the top. So this is kind of always where I focus where I'm wiping, but also on the sides. You want to be careful when you're wiping across the top, though, because you also don't want anything to filter down in through the sides of the plastic to get onto the cover art itself. So there you go. I'll do a video on boxes to show you how I how I clean up boxes. Most of them are going in the protectors, though. So there you go. How to clean games that have been on the shelf for a while, games that have been on the shelf for less of a while, and brand new games. That's how I prefer to clean them. Thanks, guys. I'm going to get back to cleaning. See you, everyone.